Hey guys, it's Scott here and today I've got a special unboxing for Eureka 7 AO Hybrid Pack. Uh, this Hybrid Pack was released in Japan and it includes both a special OVA episode for Eureka 7 AO, but it also includes the final episode or broadcast episode of Eureka 7, in addition to a fully playable game that features characters and mechs from both anime series. So the disc itself is region free and it's compatible with all Blu-ray players and PS3 consoles but unfortunately it's only available in Japanese uh, audio languages with no English subtitles. So as you saw there that was the front cover and now we're moving on to the spine and as you can see it says game and OVA hybrid pack and on the back it lists exactly what's included. So at the top which is all presented in Japanese writing it says that you get the uh, Eureka 7 AO flowers OVA in addition to episode 51, I believe it is, of Erica 7, which was the broadcast version, as well as the behind the scenes interviews with casts. And then the PS3 segment is the actual game itself. Uh, so if we can finally open it up, we'll take a look at the disc to show what it has to offer. But how this disc work, it works is basically the same as the Tekken Hybrid Pack that came out uh, a couple of months ago in the UK. So if you pop the Blu-ray disc into your Blu-ray player, you'll get to watch the uh, actual anime side. And if you pop the Blu-ray disc into your PS3 console, you get to play the game or watch the uh, anime side. So it's a pretty useful disc, but unfortunately, unless you understand Japanese, uh, you won't be able to enjoy it. So that's the disc itself. Nothing really special going off. It's just a plain white disc with the Erica 7 AO logo, Blu-ray logo and hybrid combi pack logo. And as you saw, the case arrived slightly damaged, with no visible damage elsewhere. Inside is a leaflet to promote the first Blu-ray release of Erica 7 AO, because obviously this is the Japanese version. And then here's the actual manual for the whole collection, all of which is presented in Japanese. So you've got your traditional health and safety warnings, and then this little page here describes what I described a moment ago. Whereby, if you put the disc into your Blu-ray player, you'll get the anime episodes. But if you plug it into your PS3, you'll get the option to choose whether to play the game or the anime episodes. And they'll say the rest of the manual describes the game rules and how to play. Uh, but I'll just probably end up winging it and see what it has to offer myself. And then finally, at the back, is a list of all the other hybrid combi packs that's currently available in Japan. Such as the uh, Hack Sign versus Fighting game. So that was a quick unboxing of Erica 7 AO, and now we'll take a look at some of its gameplay. So the game has three gameplay modes, Situation, Mission and Challenge. And Situation takes its gameplay from the actual anime series itself. So the first mission we get, or the Situation, is with... Um, Ow where he first gets hold of the actual uh, Nirvash. And each uh, situation is split down into three different areas. So you have stage one, stage two, and stage three. And stage three is usually the boss fight, with the earlier levels just being sort of appetizers building up to the actual boss fight itself. So as you can see the visuals aren't anything uh, spectacular, they look like an up PlayStation 2 game, but at least it does let you experience the Erica 7 universe first hand. So in order to pilot the Nirvash and control the mech, you just have to use the uh, left and right analog sticks, with the left analog stick being used the most, as the right analog stick is used to lock on um, different opponents if there's more than one on screen. Uh, to do melee attacks, you just press the circle button, as you can see just here, and to fire your gun, you press the uh, square button. Now the gun only has 20 bullets, but it will reload after a certain period of time. Now, as you can see on the screen, there's lots of uh, heads-up display. So you've got the boost bar at the bottom, which is used to uh, control your boost, which is by, done by pressing the R1 button. 
the gauge on the left hand side is your trance limit. Now each successful attack that you do on the opponent or damage you receive it will be build up. And then once you press the triangle button your speed and attack increase as you can just see here. As well as gives you a sort of a invulnerability shield. And as you see it only lasts a certain period of time so it's best used for uh, the final moment to easily destroy your opponent. And then the other heads up display uh, just tells you how many bullets you've got left. Now once you finish your level you will be uh, graded on how well you've performed such as how much damage you've received and how long it took you to complete the level. The grades themselves range from an S rank which is the highest all the way down to I believe an F rank which is the lowest which presumably is F for failing the actual mission. So now we'll move on to stage 2 which will, uh, if following the actual anime storyline, will provide a few more enemies or secrets as they're called uh, to be destroyed. So as you can see in this particular level we've got multiple opponents so we've got three opponents that need to be taken out and like I mentioned uh, during the previous level if you use the uh, right analog stick you can change uh, the lock on onto the different opponents you can cancel the lock on altogether but it's much easier just changing between the actual enemies as I said which is done by the right analog stick um, also you may have noticed the actual red arrows appearing at the top of the screen or sometimes at the left side or right side of the screen. This is a uh, warning bar to indicate that there is a attack or an enemy attack coming towards you. And when it starts to beep, if you uh, press X to dodge, which you'll do the backward spin or little flip, uh, it'll dodge the actual attack. But you usually can't dodge or attack at the same time. So if you've pressed the button to attack, you won't be able to actually dodge the incoming attack. So that's sort of a little gameplay overview of Erica 7 AO for the PS3 which is only available in Japan at the moment. Um, so I'll just leave it for a bit and we'll go through this entire first situation with Al. これゾア。
So like I mentioned earlier on in the video, uh, the final stage of the uh, situation for Al is a boss fight. As you can see, we've got to take care of these little opponents and then get close to the big one to the actual do some damage to destroy him. Now if you've uh, watched the actual Erica 7 AO anime series, which is available uh, in the UK and America, you'll know or recognise the actual enemy from the TV series. Because obviously the game is based on the TV series. So that's the first gameplay situation of Al finished and as you can see it's just grading my performance on that particular level and then now it will grade my performance for the entire situation so in this case I got an S rank which is uh, also nice and by completing the first situation with Al you unlock a plenty of additional content so for this instance we unlock uh, additional additional situations for the rest of Pied Piper so you'll be able to pilot their mechs as you can just see here but more importantly you'll be able to pilot the original Nervosh with Renton and Ereka from the original Ereka 7 series so that was a quick unboxing and overview of Erika 7 AO for the PS3 which is now available in Japan. <laughs>